I was born and raised here in Big Spring, and I still live on the farm that my grandparents settled on back in 1920. Grew up in a musical family. Music is like each of us. It's born, it comes from somewhere, it's tied to a place. For one particular kind of music, that place is the small towns in the South and the West, where everyday people, farmers, ranchers, just good folks, wrote songs that captured a slice of life that's simple and happy. And on the square in Big Spring, Texas, we met Jody Nix, a man who spent his life fiddling around in the world of Western swing. I'll always believe I was born to play our kind of music. I don't know how to describe it, it's like walking. It is, it's just that natural with me. I feel that rhythm, I mean, it, it moves me, it moves my soul. I was born into it. I started playing drums when I was four, and uh, I even got, I guess, where they thought I could handle it enough. I played drums with Bob Wills right here when I was four years old. You played drums with Bob Wills. And I'll never forget when we ended it, he looked around, he says, give the boy a hand. And then when I was eight, so I started kind of going with Daddy's band, and I started in third grade that fall. We was playing five nights a week. I played 25 years for my dad. Well, it's impossible for Jody to remember his childhood without bringing up the family business, country and western swing music, played by Jody's dad, Hoyle Nix and his West Texas Cowboys. Thank you. And it was right here at the Stampede that they played to packed houses nearly every Saturday. This old place is a landmark. I mean, it's been in our family since 1954, 64 years. It's just an old dance hall. It's not fancy. It was built to dancing. You know, my dad and them played here all the time. They played here every Saturday night for years and years. This was their home base. When I was four years old, I pulled myself right up here on this bandstand rail and watched Bob Wills play. Right here? Right there. A lot of music been played on that stage, huh? Yes, sir. A lot of memories made on that stage. There's still a lot of memories being made on that stage. Ready, boys? One more time. One, two, three. <laughs> Under his father's wing and constantly surrounded by legends of music, well, it seemed inevitable that Jody would spend more than 30 years making history of his own with his band, Jody Nix and the Texas Cowboys. Maybe I can In the early part of 1986, I got a phone call. And this guy said, we want you to come play the Black Tie and Boots Ball during the inauguration and there were 6,000 people in that hotel ballroom. Almost since birth, Jody's been playing alongside the most talented musicians in the business, and it's brought him in touch with more than a few Texas relics, including one very special instrument. This your only fiddle, favorite fiddle? What's no, sir, it's not my only one, but it, it is one of my all-time favorites. Did I see something on the back there? What yes, sir, you did. This fiddle belonged to Bob Wills. This one he started his career on in 1930 with the Light Crust Doughboys. And what does it say on the back? Can you read us that? Yes, sir. It says, played and owned by Bob Wills from January 1930 to June 1965. And his signature, Bob Wills, and he wrote under it, Always Keep It Jody. Ah, if this fiddle could talk, then it would tell stories of how a rural young man, just like Jody, grew into a Texas music icon. You know, time was that everyone in the Southwest knew Bob Wills was the king of Western swing, and a young Jody was lucky enough to work with him during some of his final moments. Bob Wills and his Texas Playboys for the last time, recorded December 3rd and 4th, 1973, Summit Burnett Studios in Dallas, Texas. My dad and I were the guests. We were very close to Mr. Wills. And he wanted my dad and me both on his session. You know, he had had a, a bad stroke and he couldn't walk and he could barely talk. He's paralyzed on one side. 
And I'll never forget this, Bob, as long as I live. I walked into Shaky's hand and in his weak voice, but still so clear. He said, you see what I wanted, don't you? And I said, yes, sir. Every time I sing that song, that vision is in my head just as clear as it was then. I could see him sitting there holding that mic. At the very end where I said, when you leave Amarillo, turn out the lights. And at the very end of it, he says, cut out the lights. And that is the last recorded voice of Bob Wills on the record. He gave me the shot to sing on a major record, on a major label with him on the final recording that he would ever make. I was 21 years old. It was Bob Will's last session, but his fiddle and his friend have kept the music playing all these years. Jody Nix and the Texas Cowboys can still pack a dance floor, just like the legends that came before them. And it's their songs that will be stuck forever in Jody's head, playing on his heartstrings. That was history, Bob. That'll never be again. Sorry. <laughs> uh, like I said, I was a 21-year-old kid with these world-renowned musicians. That was heartwarming. It meant a lot. I mean, a little small-town Texas boy getting to do them kind of things. It gets you in your soul, in your mind, in your heart. You know, it tugs at you. Country music, Western swing, Bob Wills, that's what I grew up on and that's what I still like to play today.